In May of 1955, on a single acre of donated land in a 36 by 60 cement basement, a group of faithful people met for the very first time. These people were passionate about the Word of God and the power of the gospel to change a sinner's life. This first meeting of this first group was known as Covenant Community Church of Tyrone Township. As the gospel was preached and the Lord saved souls and disciples were made, through the provision of his people, God moved miraculously. The single acre of land grew to nine acres and plans for a new facility. And in August of 1977, what had become known as Linden Community Baptist Church held its very first dedication service. In the years following, Linden Community Baptist Church would have its ups and downs, but through it all, the Lord's hand was at work and there were still sinners being saved and disciples being made. And through those seasons, there remained a group of faithful people passionate about seeing the work of the Lord and the gospel going forth. In answer to the prayers of God's faithful people, the Lord brought a renewed passion for His commission to the church as laid out in the gospel to preach the gospel, to baptize those who believe in the gospel, and to make disciples of all nations. And in 2003, the people of God that met at the corner of Linden and Bennett Lake Roads became known as the Rock Church of Fenton, Michigan. In the months and years to follow, the people of the Rock Church began to aggressively pursue the Great Commission in their individual lives, in their families, in their workplaces, and in their entire community. This pursuit of the lost would grow into gospel outreaches on the front lawn of the church, at the county fairgrounds, under big top tents, in high school gymnasiums throughout the region, and even a farmer's barn in December. As the Lord blessed the preaching of the gospel and his people's heart for evangelism, souls were being saved, baptized, and added to the church. This led to immense growth among the body of believers at The Rock, and we added multiple services throughout the entire weekend. And even still, after the addition of these services, people were parking from the road to the fence and sitting on the floor because there were no seats left in service. It became clear that the Lord's plans for the body of believers at The Rock were greater than our current facility could handle. And after much prayer and seeking of the Lord's direction, in 2014, directly across from our present location, the Lord provided 50 acres through the provision of His people, completely debt-free. As the Lord still continued to grow the body of believers at The Rock Church, in order to accommodate the present need, in 2015, we moved two of our gatherings on Sunday morning to the auditorium at Lake Fenton High School with a dream to soon have a facility of our own on the property that God provided across from The Rock. It has always been and continues to be the heart of The Rock Church to remain a debt-free ministry. We believe that the resources of God's people should be used to fulfill the Great Commission to preach, to baptize, and to make disciples here and around the world. And we are so grateful as the Lord continues to provide through the faithful giving of His people that allow us to preach the gospel around the world as well as the operational expenses for the ministry, even including the $7,000 a month rent to utilize Lake Fenton High School where the Word of God is preached every single week. In addition to that, we have been able to save over $1.9 million that is going toward a new facility that will be built right here on this property, also completely debt free. If you believe the Lord is at work through the ministry of the Rock Church to fulfill the Great Commission here and around the world, if you see the Bible being preached, the gospel going forth, and disciples being made, ask the Lord what He would have you to give and see if God will provide for that threshold of $2 million.